Hey YouTube, welcome to Real Men Get It Done, my family and lifestyle channel, turning my dad-isms into motivational videos for all. So today's episode is going to focus on beard grooming and maintenance. I am often asked uh, a lot of questions about my beard uh, since I've lost hair up top. Uh, my hair uh, grows very well on the bottom. So I want to highlight that to motivate others if you're starting out fresh or if you may have a beard and just want to get some additional tips on grooming and keeping it uh, conditioned to keep it nice and soft. So ladies, if you have a man who is trying to start a beard or you want your man to start a beard, this also is a video for you so you can let him know the process of what it will take to move forward and have a nice, luscious, soft beard. Okay, so let's talk about some of the products that I use for my beard. This is a great set by Scotch Porter brand, and this comes with a beard wash, a beard conditioner, and a, a beard a balm that you can use each and every day. So I use this for my beard and my hair, and so instead of buying it, because I do go through it very quickly, the same ingredients they're used inside of here, I went to our local uh, beauty supply store and found those ingredients, and so I, I refill my Scotch Porter uh, leave-in conditioner, um, you know, when this gets low, because it just makes it easier and it's less expensive than buying this separately outside of the set. Kirk's Coconut Soap is very good. It's for your skin and for your hair. It does not dry out your skin in your hair. So this is a very good product that I use as well, almost daily, along with, you know, having a brush and a, a, a long pick to uh, groom out my beard. And this is something that I've been using recently, not every day, but maybe every other day, but a beard straightening comb. So it has two settings, a high setting and a low setting. Always keep it on the low and don't keep it on my beard long, but it'll help actually soften the beard uh, and straighten it a little bit so that it just makes it a lot more manageable each and um, the, the time that you use it. So these are all the products that I use. And as I said, some are able to be used every day and some products uh, are used maybe once or twice out the week. All right, so going over my night and sometimes my day routine for my beard, I am gonna use the beard straightener just to give you a review on that. But in short, the Kirk soap, I use that every day because I don't want to dry out my skin and I also don't want to dry out my beard. There's a lot of people who say, you know, you shouldn't wash your beard every day. And I used to not be a believer of that, but now I am. But it, it kind of is a caveat to that. I go to the gym, I work out, and so my head gets sweaty, my beard gets sweaty. You want to be able to rinse your beard out, but you don't need to necessarily give it a full beard wash with, with the beard soap and the beard conditioner and everything. So I, I reserve that for about once a week when I do a full in-depth wash and conditioning of my beard. But daily, I use the Kirk soap, as I mentioned, uh, just to wash my face and, and, and rinse my beard out, just so that everything is nice and clean on my face, period. Then from there, what I usually do is add um, actually a mixture of the um, leave-in beard oil and also a tiny bit of conditioner. Technically, it's conditioner supposed to be used, you know, when you're washing your beard and after. But for me personally, I just use a little bit of this uh, even during the day uh, just to keep my beard soft and keep it conditioned. And then the last thing I usually do uh, after I, you know, saturate it and have my, my, my face all clean, the beard all conditioned, is to use um, my pick brush and the straightening uh, heat comb to keep the beard nice and actually, you know, um, full of length. So when I wake up in the morning, of course, everything is all matted and crazy, or even at night, going through a full day, and you come home and your beard, you know, isn't as fresh as it was when you first left out the door. But here's my process that I'm gonna show you that I do when I'm maintaining the beard. Oh, and if I failed to mention it, yes, washing your beard, and I do this routine before I get into the shower, whether it's in the evening or in the morning, because um, I wanna make sure that my head is all done before I get in the shower. Because it is true, I have learned that using hot water on your beard is not the best thing. Um, they say cold water, but I have like a medium, you know, lukewarm version of water. I don't want it super cold, I don't want it super hot, but a nice mixture of kind of a 
on the cooler side of water to put on my face and beard, and then I'll jump in the shower. But the top of my head will already be done, so I don't have to worry about that when I jump into the shower. So as I said, that is my process um, to keep my beard nice, fresh, conditioned, and to actually have the length on it. So I do normally cut my beard uh, myself, and I also go to my barber. So in between um, me cutting my hair, I'll, I'll let it grow and get a fresh cut from the barber. But outside of that, uh, that is my maintenance routine that can be used for anyone that uh, is starting their beard or is in the process of just wanting to get it back and have a nice and healthy beard. So I, the results are out still on the heating, the heating beard straightener. Um, I think just from what I've spoken to ladies that maybe use straightening combs and things, uh, heat may not be good for the hair every day. So that's why I don't use it every day, but I think um, using it uh, periodically every other day and again the key I think is not letting it sit on your beard to kind of like sizzle but as you're maybe uh, combing it or brushing it then using this lightly to help straighten the beard and use some of that heat just to make it more manageable every other day uh, but as I said I really do like the process that I've kind of developed and it's really just from, from picking up tips and tricks from others on YouTube who maybe use a different conditioner or a different beard straightening comb uh, but I definitely guarantee for you to um, use cold water when you're washing your beard. Find you some type of conditioning and beard wash that works well for you. And if the beard straightening comb isn't your cup of tea, that's definitely okay. But get a brush, a beard uh, pick, um, so you can kind of make sure that you are getting the product into your beard so that it stays conditioned, soft, and healthy. Uh, so those are my tips and tricks for beard maintenance and grooming. Thank you for watching this episode of Real Men Get It Done. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and make sure you help us grow our channel. Uh, again, family and lifestyle and just helping others stay motivated each and every day. So until next time, peace, God bless, and we'll talk at you later.